I work in a small community hospital. I teach residents how to um, do a wide variety of uh, functions. I am a certified instructor for the Advanced Life Support and Obstetrics course. We teach um, NRP and require it of our residents to be done every year. We require advanced cardiac life support to be done every year. And those are just um, really important life-saving uh, components of our education of our residents and physicians in our, in our uh, residency. So um, in February of 2008, I had uh, done my recertification uh, on a Wednesday morning in February. Uh, came out feeling very confident that I could save uh, babies and uh, young children and adults because I had just also completed the advanced cardiac life support system. But I didn't know, uh, as I walked into the room feeling very cocky about the fact that I could save anyone's life, uh, that the next life to save would be uh, mine. I walked into a room to see a patient and uh, sat down to see this 98-year-old lady and fell over dead. Uh, fortunately, having that happen in your clinic, uh, when you've spent time on working on a standardized approach to uh, emergency response is a good place to have a cardiac arrest and within seconds my colleagues, the residents were all in the room getting an AED off the wall, shocked me back to life uh, and I came back with no um, uh, sequela, no neurologic impairment, no, no memory impairment. Uh, and was um, whisked away on a new journey. Uh, but it was because of um, adherence to appropriate life-saving uh, protocols that I uh, survived.